Russia has carried out a fourth night of airstrikes on Ukraine, hitting grain terminals at an agricultural centre in the Odessa region. Moscow says the attacks on the Black Sea coast are a retaliation against a Ukrainian strike on Russia's bridge to Crimea this week. Moscow also held drills in the Black Sea, with its navy practice firing anti-ship cruise missiles at mock targets and apprehending ships. Both Russia and Ukraine have announced that they will treat ships travelling to each other's ports as potential military targets. A Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has called on Western nations to consider Russia's demands and to work towards restoring the crucial grain supply deal. Moscow says it will return to that deal only if its demands are met for easier access for its own food and fertilizer exports to world markets. The escalation comes just days after Russia pulled out of a deal that has allowed safe export of Ukrainian grain for the past year. The attacks have resulted in unsteady grain markets worldwide. Wheat prices on the Euro next market have seen their biggest rise since March 2022, trading higher by more than 8%. Here in Asia, India has stopped the export of its largest rice category. India's order comes after retail prices for non-Basmati white rice climbed 3% in a month as a result of heavy monsoon rain causing lasting damage to crops. The government says it's taking the measure to strengthen control over trade of the grain and to keep local prices in check ahead of next year's general election. The move is seen as posing a fresh threat to global food supplies, already heightened by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. India holds the lion's share of the world's rice trade, accounting for more than 40 percent of total shipments. Rice exports last year came in at more than the combined shipments of other key players, Thailand, Vietnam, Pakistan and the United States. In addition, the ban could send already elevated prices shooting up even higher. Uh, meanwhile, farmers in China are being urged to grow more grain after the expiry of the Black Sea grain deal. President Xi Jinping has stressed efforts must be made to strengthen farmland protection and to improve land quality. Uh, this in turn could expand agricultural output and promote the country's own grain production. Well, Tracy Allen, an agricultural commodity strategist at J.P. Morgan, explains how Russia's withdrawal from the deal will likely impact global food security. It is certainly very, very delicate, but I think importantly, a manageable situation from the point of view of global grain and oil seed supplies. And I think that's the point that we need to, to focus on here. It has been very apparent that Ukrainian export flows of agricultural products have really redeveloped new routes, overland routes, to be able to move these really critical volumes of grain, of corn, of wheat, of sunflower seed and oil uh, through alternate transportation modes, rail, road, and of course, through the very, very important uh, river systems and, and barge flows through the Danube. In the short to medium term, um, to your question, we know we certainly see have seen China and, and, and Turkey, uh, certainly Spain, Italy being some of the major export destinations of agricultural flows from Ukraine. Uh, but I think, as you rightly pointed out earlier, the, the biggest concern around the fallout of this initiative has certainly been the removal of the security guarantees of agricultural trade flows from Ukraine and of the safeguarding of, you know, of port zones around uh, certainly the Odessa province and, and, and for that matter, all of Ukraine's uh, seaports, uh, you know, bringing a lot of concern for future inventories and, and future production potential out of that key grain producer, Ukraine.